A modern forehand, we say that it's segmented. So we break it down into segments and different body parts work in different, at different times. And so the key to the modern forehand is that through these segments, we create a lot of stretches in the body. In a classical forehand, there's no stretch in the body. Everything is kind of firm and stable. So there's no stretching in the body. It's just more like this. It's more of a pushing motion. But a modern forehand is more of a stretching way of hitting the forehand. So what we get by that is we get the elastic band effect. We stretch the muscle and then we can snap it back. So it snaps back by itself and we also add power. So the main ways we create these segments in the body are we separate the upper body and the lower body. So that's why there's a lot of open stance forehands because when we play open stance forehand we can turn the shoulders more than the hips and so when we do that we create certain torque in the body, a certain stretch and then we can pull back these muscles that were stretched a little bit and by that we create power. So that's the first segment, the first separation that we create with the modern forehand many times. So we play open stance, then we create this stretch between the lower body and the upper body. Then the second stretch that we create is by rotating the shoulders forward, rotating the hips forward and letting the arm fall behind. So we create the separation between the body and the arm, so through the shoulder. So the stretch happens here in the shoulder. When we go like this, there's a stretch here, like through the chest muscle, and then we can snap back and pull. We pull like this and again we create acceleration. And then the third stretch that happens is the separation between the forearm and the wrist. So when we go for a forehand, if I show from this angle, when you go for a forehand, a lot of players now go like this into a drop and then when they accelerate, their forearm goes forward and the racket falls behind. So they create a lot of stretch in the forearm and so the separation is between the forearm and the wrist. 